So last night I killed the lawn. I know it's a bad thing, but sprayed the Roundup on this whole front section. And the reason I did so is because I have these spots here. As you can see this rye here, these light green or these lime green areas, these are rye grass. And I wanna do a mono stand. So I'm gonna do one cultivar of Kentucky bluegrass. I also have some issues with some Poa annua and I want, I want to just have one variety. So I know it's a sad day, but it is what it is and the damage is done. From here over, I did not kill or did not do anything with that. I'm just focusing on this front section here. The first thing I want to do is rough up the old existing grass quite a lot so I can get good seed to soil contact. And I have this power rake here. I just got this from my local rental shop. I'm just gonna run over this in two different directions, two or three, and just kind of rough it all up really good and so I can prepare the seed bed. If you try to seed right on top of this, you won't get good seed to soil contact and it won't work as well. So the idea behind this is to let the existing grass die down, let the new grass grow up at the same time. Not really ideal. I would prefer to spray it a few different times, but I don't have much time and I've got to get the seed down. And I realize it's a little bit early, but not for my area. First thing I need to do is just rake the whole section. I've sprayed where my sprinkler heads are so I don't damage those. And I want to do over the edges where it's high and I'm going to bring those areas down a bit. So here we go. <laughs> process behind this deal is verticut it one direction or power rake and then clean it up and then do it another direction so I'm not driving the material back down into the lawn just preparing the seed bed to accept the seed and so the seed can have good seed to soil contact so I want to clean all this up and I'll come out add it at a different direction clean it up again and then put my additives down and my seed The dethatch is super helpful if you're trying to mow low for sure. I would recommend doing this at the beginning of the season or if you're just trying to go from tall to short, go for it. Just do the dethatch and then start mowing low and it'll just thicken up and fill in on its own. So I have not been very nice to this mower. I just keep mowing up sand, sticks, rocks, dirt, all that stuff. But the thing just keeps on going. The only thing I don't like about it is the auto choke. Other than that, this is a good mower, good engine. Wish you had a little bit more power, but you're not gonna get a lot when you buy the entry level motor. Pretty sure you're gonna have a lot of gunk under here, and yes indeed, you do. Lots of buildup, because the grass is wet. So I've got all this buildup, lots and lots of it. Okay, so I just finished blowing off the lawn. I cleaned up all of the debris with my rotary mower. I've run over the lawn in this direction with the power rake. Now I'm gonna do it in this direction so I can do a 90 degree fashion. Then I'll likely clean it up again and then we'll start putting the soil additives down. So I went over the lawn three times with the power rake. This is the third time. I picked up the clippings or these, this thatchy stuff three times. And I'm not gonna power rake a fourth time. I was going to, but I've been working on this all day. I think three times will be enough. 
So I've exposed the soil pretty good in going at this in three different directions. First and second round, I used the mower to uh, collect all these clippings or the thatchy material. Third round, I just used the blower. So I'm going to use this sprayer and put glyphosate down. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm pretty sure it's a bad idea. I gotta get work done and I cannot be messing around with the backpack. I sprayed it with the backpack last night and it took forever. So I did the math, and for 8,000 feet, I need uh, 12 ounces of gli. All right, so I'm putting 12 ounces of gli in there. So I'm just tank mixing. Put my uh, chemical in there, the glyphosate. And now I'm putting in water and mixing it up. That should be good. Okay, so let's do this. Wow! Don't want any drift going on. I'm just gonna stop right there because I've got some plants right there that I cannot sacrifice. I'm going to spray those with hose just in case right now. Oh, I see drift. I see drift. Do not have that. Turn my pressure down a little bit. So I turn the pressure down to like 30 and no drift. So I had the pressure at 50 to 60. Oh, that was a bad deal. I had some drifting and I'm really worried about my dahlias from last night, so I don't know. It's got a little bit of glide left in my tank. I'm gonna rinse, 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 rinse that tank out. So I just did a round of glyphosate. I need to do a round of uh, tenacity for pre-emergent weeds. That should last 21 days. And then I need to put some humic acid down. I wanna do that as well. And then I also wanna do a round of the hydrotane to help with keeping the seed wet. So there, I'm just gonna run this all the way out. It's uh, 12 gallons. So this does 5.5 gallons a minute. So it should take about two minutes to empty the tank out. So I'm just gonna put a couple of, a little bit of this Dawn dish soap in there. I don't know what it's gonna do, but I don't know. So with glyphosate, you cannot be too safe. That's why I just put a little bit of this Dawn dish soap in there. I don't know. I don't know that that's gonna do anything, but just doing it anyways as a safety measure. Maybe it'll break down the surface tension of the water that maybe will be stuck inside the pipes or inside some of the hoses or something. So, so I'm gonna do a tank mix and spray it on the lawn. I'm gonna do Tenacity and Humic Acid, probably the RGS, maybe some Air 8. RGS and Air 8. No, oh, man, I'm a rocker. Here's my favorite bands. ACDC, Van Halen, not Van Hagar, Skinnerd, Def Lepp,